Are you looking for some cozy casserole meals that will just keep you warm and toasty during these winter months? Hey my friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the new year. I'm so happy to have you back. I wanted to let you know that this is a cozy casserole collaboration that's hosted by a friend of mine here on YouTube. Her name is Sammy and her channel is Sammy May and I will have her channel linked in the description box. But there are a bunch of us YouTubers that have gotten together to create a great playlist for you to have just a plethora of casserole meal ideas that will be perfect during these cold and chilly winter months. But for me, I have three casseroles and they all use chicken. So I wanna show you these three casserole meals that are very, very easy to make. So let's go ahead and get into the kitchen and get started. Tonight I'm making a King Ranch Chicken Casserole and I'm halving the recipe that I will have listed in the description box. But for this, you are going to need corn tortillas, cumin, an onion, some minced garlic, some salsa verde, green chilies, chicken, you can either uh, cook your own or use a rotisserie. You're going to need cilantro, sour cream, and a Mexican style cheese. So let's go ahead and get this put together. All right, to get this casserole started, I have my oven preheating to 400. I have a little bit of butter in a skillet and I'm letting it melt. I have chopped up like I said, I'm halving this recipe. So what I'm showing you is just what I'm doing, but again, I will leave the recipe below. But I'm taking the onion and I've got it chopped up pretty small. And then I'm gonna add the minced garlic. And I'll probably add a little bit extra just because we love garlic, but you are going to um, basically just cook this, saute the onions and garlic in with the butter until the, um, the onions are starting to get tender and the garlic is fragrant. So maybe about three minutes. Now I have a medium sized bowl and in the bowl I'm going to put in the sauteed onions. So this is basically the only thing that you're cooking on the stove are the onions and garlic. The rest is all in the oven. So we've got our, uh, our onions and garlic. You're gonna add in your chicken, some cilantro, and I guess if you don't like cilantro, you can leave that out. Of course, I love cilantro. Then you're gonna add in some chopped green chilies. And again, I'm half in the recipe, so I'm not using all of that. I'm gonna add in some cumin. My chili verde, about half. Then I'm gonna add some sour cream and I have a little bit left in this, maybe a quarter of a cup, half a cup, a little bit more. And then I had to buy some more. Sour cream. So that's all you're mixing in right now. And I've never made this before. If you've made it, let me know in the comments um, supposedly this is like a huge thing in 
Texas, huge dish in Texas. So we are trying it out. I'm gonna mix that up real good. All right, I have my casserole dish sprayed. Then it says you are going to um, put about one quarter of the chicken mixture into the bottom of the casserole dish and spread it out. I have my tortilla, my corn, corn tortillas torn into just pieces, rough pieces. It just says tear it into rough pieces. Then I'm gonna layer that. And actually, I'm supposed to put the cheese first. That's okay, we'll do it right next time. So then I'm going to, and like I said, this is supposed to be in reverse order. Put some of the cheese over top of that. Then you are just going to repeat the layering. Now I'm going to do it in the right order and put some cheese. So this is the last layer of the tortilla uh, strips that you're gonna put. Then I'm gonna put the rest of the chicken. Yes, I know, I could use a spatula. I had someone comment that they wished I would have used a spatula, but you know what, this is what I started with, so it still gets the job done. All right, get that spread, then you're going to layer it with some more cheese. Now I'm gonna bake this in my 400 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes and dinner will be ready. All right, here it is fresh out of the oven and I served this up with some salad and I am telling you this was so delicious. My son even said that this is a repeat meal. This was delicious. Tonight for dinner, we're having a cheesy chicken casserole, cheesy chicken rotel casserole. This is something that when I had my hip surgery, a friend of mine brought me dinner and it was this. And so she told me how to make it, but I've kind of just made it my own over the past couple of years, two or three years. So anyway, this is what you'll need. You will need garlic, these are the spices, garlic, pepper, minced onion, and then you can use whatever spices you want, but this is just what I'm using. Uh, rotel, cream of celery, and if you prefer cream of chicken, you can do that. I just don't like cream of chicken, so cream of celery. You're gonna need some spaghetti pasta, chicken, Velveeta, not this huge thing. I'm gonna only use probably a quarter of it and then some cheese, whatever kind of cheese you like. But it's super easy to make and it doesn't really take a long time. So it's perfect for those busy weeknights when you need dinner quick. So let me go ahead and show you how it's done. While my spaghetti noodles are cooking, I'm going to start on the sauce. So to, do, to cook the sauce, you're gonna use your cream of celery 
and like I said you can kind of adapt this to whatever your tastes are if you want cream of mushroom or cream of chicken um, this is just what I happen to like so you're gonna add this you're gonna add one can of Rotel and I don't have it drained gonna get that mixed up one thing I'm gonna do this year is I am going to learn how to make my own cream of soups if you make your own let me know in the comments and was it easy was it hard um, but I know there are a lot of preservatives in these cans so I want to learn how to make my own all right, I've got this mixed up, and while um, while it's coming up to heat, I'm gonna go ahead and add some garlic. I don't really have a measurement, maybe a teaspoon, maybe, probably more for us, but anyway, just pepper. You don't have to do the pepper part, but we do. Then, well, my minced onion, maybe about a teaspoon, and get that mixed up. And let that cook for a few minutes. All right, this is starting to come to a little bubble. And I've got it on about a medium heat. I've also got my oven preheating to 425, but I ended up cutting, like cutting this big block. This is a I got two of them from Sam's and it is a, what size, 32 ounce. I ended up doing it into thirds. So now that this is bubbling, I'm just gonna start adding the Velveeta and I'm gonna stir it because I don't want anything to stick to the bottom. So I'm just gonna stir this pretty frequently and get that Velveeta mixed in. You're gonna take your chicken I'm using about two cups for the amount that I'm cooking for tonight. And you're just gonna mix that in real good. While that's heating through, I'm gonna shred my, chick shred my cheese and I'm gonna put a link to this cheese shredder in the description box. I got it from Amazon and it is absolutely amazing. This is my favorite cheese shredder that I've ever had. So if you need one, check it out, you'll love it. Okay, the chicken is heated through, my oven is ready, the pasta has been drained and my cheese has been shredded. I have sprayed my casserole dish and so I'm just going to take a little bit of this and there's not going to be too much layering. Now you can mix your pasta in with the sauce but that's just easier to do it this way honestly. So I'm going to put a little bit of the chicken mixture on the bottom and I'm going to take half of the pasta and I'm going to put it kind of want to spread it out as you put it down so that you don't have clumps of spaghetti noodles I just kind of drop it like this now this is super cheesy so you're going to take about, I guess maybe a cup of cheese, cup and a half of cheese, whatever cheese you like. I We like the Colby Jack. Then you're gonna put more of the chicken mixture on top, and then you're just gonna repeat that layer. put together. Now I'm just going to put it into my preheated 425 oven until the cheese is bubbly. So you just want to kind of keep an eye on it. All right, this cooked for about 20 minutes and I love the brown on the cheese. I served it with some green beans 
and again, another delicious, cozy chicken casserole meal. This was so good. We love this meal. This chicken rice casserole is something that my mom used to make all the time, but I never had a recipe. And I just found one just recently. And so I'll have it listed in the description box. But for this meal, you're gonna need chicken broth, cheese, rice, uh, two cans of cream of celery, two chicken breasts, which I have some rotisserie chicken that I already have shredded from the freezer, garlic powder, thyme, half a stick of butter, and some pepper. So let's go ahead and get this put together. It's super easy to put together. In a mixing bowl, you're going to add in the two cans of cream of celery, three cups of your chicken broth, and this is actually um, this is actually the better than bouillon. So, because I had it, so get that mixed in there, and your half stick of melted butter. You're just gonna whisk that real good until that soup is blended in. All right, now you're gonna add in two cups of rice. The measurements will be in the recipe, but I'm just putting in, um, you know, as much as I want. I think it's about a teaspoon of pepper, a half a teaspoon of thyme and then maybe a teaspoon of garlic. So, and then once all this is in there, then you're gonna mix it up. And I have my oven preheated to 375, and my um, casserole dish has been sprayed. Let's not forget the star of the show, the chicken. Add that in, get it all mixed up. Now you're just going to carefully pour all of this into your casserole dish. Get all that rice out. chicken spread. Now you're going to top it with about a cup of shredded cheese and I'm using Colby Jack. Then you are going to cover it tightly with some aluminum foil as tightly as possible. And you're going to put this in the oven and let it cook for about an hour and 15 minutes. All right, I just took it out of the oven. And I did realize after I put it in that you were supposed to put the cheese on after the hour and 15 minutes. So it's fine. I just shredded some more cheese. Now I'm going to put this cheese on top. Because honestly, who ever heard of too much cheese? I don't know. So now that this cheese is on top, I'm gonna let it cook for 10 more minutes. And when the cheese is kind of getting bubbly, then I'll take it out and let it set 10 more minutes. Here it is out of the oven. And like I said, you wanna let it set for about 10 minutes but this is really good and it's a very hearty meal. It's super easy to put together and while it does take a little longer to cook, it's definitely worth it. It's very good. As I mentioned earlier, I really do want to make the cream of soups here at home. So like I said, if you know of a great recipe for doing that, then please 
let me know. But I want to thank Sammy for hosting this collaboration. Make sure you go visit her channel. You're going to love her channel. She has so many wonderful meal ideas. She's got some grocery hauls. She gives you a little bit of a day in her life. They've got a garden that they work on and you're just going to love her. So make sure to check her out. Also make sure to check out the playlist that I will have linked in the description box as well. And if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for coming by and spending some time with me. I would love it if you would be a part of my YouTube family. If you like all things homemaking, whether it is recipe ideas, meal ideas, shopping hauls, home decor, and more, then make sure to click the subscribe button and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Leave me a comment below and give this video a big thumbs up because it does help me out with YouTube. And if you are looking for some more casserole ideas, then check out the box you see on the screen and I will see you next time. Bye.